I am preaching what I title Let Me Go. Shout it to your neighbor, Let Me Go. Let me go. Shout it to another person by the other side. Shout it, Let Me Go. He may not be the one that is holding it, but you are using him to command. And there are angels around you by your left and right. As you declare it, they will, fo they will follow instruction. Stretch your hand toward this altar. Shout it, let me go. Let me go. I, I wish your voice can be louder. It's a voice, it's a, a, a decree of command. Shout it louder. And I pass decree tonight, whoever that is holding back what is yours, holding back your glory and your testimony, as you turn that amen, they will release you by force. They will release you by force. Sit down. Jesus went to the tomb of Lazarus. After he was buried, and have spent about four days. It was after four days of they have led him to rest that the master showed up. Sit down. I could still remember what happened in verse 20. Media can not have it. Verse 20 now. Verse 20. Matter then as mat then matter as soon as he heard that Jesus was coming went and met him, but Mary sat still in the house. Now, remember that this is the same Mary and Martha who have been following the ministry of Jesus, who have been very close. Remember that when he went to their house, one was cooking, one asked the master, I only mean Jesus, said, leave Martha. She have chosen the best part. But Mary came out, Martha was in the house. Now listen, what makes you a child of God is not how excited you are when things are working. It is your attitude when things are not the way you expect it. That is the day heaven will prove your salvation. I don't know whether you heard me. Permit me to say something on that. Verse 21, before I move to where I'm going this morning. Verse 21. Look at matter that came out. Look at what he said to the Lord. John 11, 21. Media, you stay with me. Verse number 21. Media, I'm sure you are with me today. Then verse 21. Then matter. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother would not have died. Why? Because they sent for Jesus when he was sick. In verse 4, Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death. So they relaxed and said, no need of panic, no need of going to hospital. But suddenly he died. I perceived that when the last died, they even sent him and said, he's dead though. And he didn't show up. And when did he come? He came when they have buried him and it was already four days in the grave. That was why see Martha said, Lord, if you have been here. Do you know why? Because they were, they were excited about the ministry of Jesus. They were the one announcing the ministry of Jesus. Telling people what Jesus is doing, what God is doing through him. And people know him and believe that they are early, the early disciples of Jesus. But Martha and Mary were disappointed how Jesus they respond of Jesus when their brother was sick. If you read John chapter 11 verse 4, they sent him a message saying, your Lazarus, your friend, they, he, he said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God. That is on him. But verse 3, look at the message they sent to him in verse 3. Verse 3. He said, therefore, his sister sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Then verse 4, Jesus said, relax. This sickness is not unto death. So, he relaxed. 
they relaxed and we are happy that nothing will happen because all the ways of Jesus they have seen and they witnessed during his ministration everything he says come to pass so they believe he say he will not die he will not die so death have nothing so they, they relax their mind and not quite long Lazarus died if you read verse 10 verse 11 verse 10 and verse 11 verse 10 and verse 11 but if a man walk in the day, in the night, he stumbled, but because there is no light in him. Verse 11, now, look at what he said. These things he said, and after that, he said unto them, our friend, Jesus confirmed, yes, our friend, Lazarus, sleepeth, but I go that I may wake him out of sleep. Verse 12, very interesting part of the scripture to read. Then said his disciple, Lord, if he sleep, it's a good thing. We have, been, we have been working with you for all these days. We never have time to sleep. So if Lazarus is enjoying sleep, his own is good. Let him sleep. He's good. Jesus, look at the next verse. Jesus told them, say, he's sleeping. But how it? Jesus spoke about his death. But they thought, they thought that he's, he has spoken up, up, talking of the rest in sleep. But verse 14, he now speaks it in a normal language. We are everybody will understand then said Jesus unto them plainly Lazarus he said oh but I love what he said in verse 15 what happened in verse 15 what verse 15 follow me this morning verse 15 Jesus said I am glad <laughs> wait verse 15 first and he said, I, I am glad for your sake that I was not there to the intent that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go unto him. Jesus said, I'm happy. I wasn't there when he died, but I'm happy he died. Then Thomas, that was only where I saw Thomas answered. Check your Bible. That was only where Thomas showed up. Then said Thomas, which is called Didymus, unto his fellow, fellow disciples, let us go that we may die with him. And there are so many Thomas around you. When things happen, they say, hey, we will kill ourselves. If they see what that problem, they will run away. Thomas said, okay, is that what you are saying? Let's go and die together now. Why are we? <laughs> Thomas. Is that all you can say? He said, yes. Yeah, so we can't afford to lose Lazarus. If he die, all of us, we are going to die. They should bury us together. And if he see death, he will follow the other road. Now, listen, there are people around you, when you have problem, they will talk as if they show concern or they care. Don't be carried away. Did you hear what I said? It's not everybody who's, who is around you that cares for you. There are, now, when the journey gets too tough, you know who is who. Thomas said, let's go and die with you while we're here now. Let's go and die. Jesus laughed. Thomas, you, you, if you see that now, you run away. Now, Martha and Mary, in verse, let's go back to that verse 21 again. So we can go for our assignment today. Verse 21. Then said Martha unto the Lord, if thou hast been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Now, do you know, it was a word of blame. Blaming Jesus. If you were here, our brother wouldn't have died. I perceive they were looking at it and Master, this anointing you have now, you are making guy. Before when they call you, normally answer us fast. But sometime now, it's like you are making guy. I can't believe it's my pastor. The way my, they, upon my position in the church, upon what I do, I know how much I contribute. I call pastor. Even when my brother is sick, he no show up. Even when he die, my own pastor. Even people call that, they ask me, say, where that your pastor, where he take the make mouth? Where is it? I was ashamed. No, talk, talk true. He said, not that my brother, even that people, anybody can die. He said, but people were asking me. Even the day of funeral, we didn't see any pastor. We have to look for somebody somewhere. Our own pastor that is always here. You know how we normally come here, we cook food for him. Everything we do for him. They talk, um, no, the pastors at times, now when you get money, they go know you. Oh, but Jesus left them to try their faith. 
Look at my prayer for you. May your challenge never swallow your faith. But when they saw Jesus came, they thought that he came to pay condolence. They never know that the solution has come. Now, and there are many around them. Listen, the Bible said they were around them. Look at <laughs> verse. I am not here for story. I'm here for reality. I'm here for reality. He said, I know he will rise at the last day. But verse 41. Look at verse 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was laid. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hearest. Wait, I thank thee that thou has heard me. He didn't say you will hear. Get that statement. At that time, Lazarus was still dead. At that time, there was no sign of life. He said, Father, thank you because I know you have heard me. Now listen. The first key you need to declare your freedom is gratitude. You didn't hear me. There are four keys I want to show you. Four things you must do to confirm your liberation. Your freedom. That which you are looking for. Thanking him over what you are looking for. Even when it has not happened. <laughs> Did you hear it? Thanking him for that which you are waiting for. Even when it has not happened. You are already thanking him as if he's already done. But many of us want it to happen before they thank God. If you can thank God for what he has not done, you have moved the hand of God for the impossible. Did you hear what I said? He lifted up his hand and began to thank him. You are worthy, O oh Lord, the Lamb of Calvary. Lord, Father, receive glory. And adoration, you are worthy, O oh Lord, the Lamb of Calvary. Father, receive glory and forevermore. Thank Him. I don't have food, but I'm alive. That's to say, food is coming. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Give us this day our daily bread. That's what the master said because he know. It's even the bears of the head who feed them. They never they die that soul. But yet, our heavenly father take care of them. You are worthy, O Lord. The Lamb of Calvary. Father, receive glory. And adoration. You are worthy, O Lord, the Lamb of Calvary has received glory and forevermore. Thanksgiving. Tell your neighbor, always thank God. Yes. Some God say, What have you done? There are many things God have done for you, you don't know. Your life this morning is a testimony. Do you know that? If you doubt me, go to any hospital nearby. You can see hospitals. Go and check people there. Ask them, how long have you been here? Some will tell you I've been here for more than one week. Or just advance a little bit, go to a specialist or go to UBTH. Ask them show you, to show you the accident world, emergency world. Even you'll be shocked that as you are entering, they are carrying one box out. They will tell you, say, this one just left now. That's why you need to be thankful. If it's by your grace, you are not qualified. If it's by righteousness, we are not. It just is mercy. Thank him. Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 4 said to him that is found among the living. There is hope. Why? As long as you are alive, there is something God has for you. He didn't just leave you like this. You are worthy, O oh Lord. The Lamb of Calvary. Father, receive glory and adoration. You are worthy, O Lord, the Lamb of Calvary. 
I say receive glory now and forevermore. Forget who they love you. Now, do you know when Jesus got there? If you have read from verse 37, the Bible said, after Jesus wept, put it back to verse 36. Have that John, uh, John 11, 36 and 37. Let me show you something there. Then said, then said the Jews, Behold, how he loved him because they saw him crying. Verse 37, what did they say? Some of them said, Could not this man, which opened the eyes of the blind, have caused that even this man shouldn't have died? That's who said, But did they open the eyes of blind people? And these people are your, these are your members. Why did this one now die? They're the one that is telling us about your church. But when Jesus, after thanking him, verse 42, he says something. Look at verse 42. Verse 42. Verse 42. He said, I know, and I know that thou hearest me. How, how many times? Always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe. So many of them who we are there are crying, crocodile tears, they were not there because they sympathize. They are there to confirm. Upon her last rose, they pray, they go to church. So it through through that. So who they go to church like this, they die. I'm telling you. Oh, he thought that everybody around you who came to tell you sorry, they are there for sorry. They came to confirm what they heard. But they will not have a day for that. If I hear your amen, you will not receive sorry this year. If you rise up, say amen. You will not receive sorry this year. <laughs> Sit down. I na jagema ni na imarama e ona nyage na obi omage ojuruma ya e we ge ma we yete. Ebo Alpha, no Omega, and you need it. That son says, sinner like me, he carried. He think well of me. Abu Monye, in a cherebo, Chuboma. Abu Monye, in a cherebo, Chuboma. Hajonye de kamo ile jeremo chukoma onye njo de kamo ile jeremo chukoma Thank you for your children. Thank you for people around you. He knows why. Is of a truth there is something you are waiting for that you don't have. But, but there is something you have money cannot buy. Am I correct here? At times you say, God, I don't have this. Let me tell you, devil will never remind you what you have. Your enemies will never tell you, thank God for your life. Thank God for your They will only ask you why you, the thing that you don't have, why you never get them. But the one you have, they never join you one day to thank God. Are you listening to me? I was talking to them recently somewhere. I went to preach it. One of the crusades. I think last week. I remember some years ago. Then I was in the East. A day before that day, I didn't sell anything. I wasn't sure of my feeding for the following day. I don't know whether it's five naira I have that was supposed to be everything I have. Then five naira still have value, can pay your transport. As early as, in fact, before six o'clock, I left the house, trick down to the market, open the shop because I want to sell. Now, you who went to market by six, before six, got into market around after six, who did you get in the market that time? Who is coming to buy? But I believe that if you go early, at least, you go see somebody. <laughs> but you know, I came that early. It was only me, the whole line. In fact, they, everywhere was scared. Scared because nobody's in the market. In fact, to stay there was somehow 
Scary. Around 6 30, around to 7, people started coming one one, but not even people who want to buy market. And I heard a voice passing through. There's a place they call Samek in Abia. So I saw, I heard people. I heard voice. Because it looked like voice of those who are on money cry. But the song was so wonderful. In fact, he's touching. So I left the shop. I moved out. That's Gochuku Avenue. To see whether now those who are money, doing money cry are they still doing money cry to seven, which I know by that time those who are money cry has finished. I was shocked. I saw two disabled. The one at the back is blind and his leg also at the same time he can't walk, his legs are bent. But the one driving, that one is a woman, the one at the back. The one driving happened to be a man. He can see, but he cannot walk. You know those they are disabled bicycle. So he was the one carrying the sister at the back. And they were raising their son, they go. Obi Matsolojo, Nsobu ni le goro no wa. Obi Matsolojo, Ahun hum ni le goro no wa. I was hearing this song. The thing, eh? Could they catch me from a distance? They didn't hold microphone, no megaphone. Obi Mada Lamba, Ahun hum ni le goro no wa. Obi Matsolojo, Nsobu ni le goro no wa. Obi Matsolojo, Ahun hum ni le goro no wa. Obi Matsolojo. You know what that song means? He said, My soul, don't fear. All my trouble ends here in this world. When we cross over to that side, nobody knows who is crippled or who is blind. I forgot that I was hungry that morning. You need to hear the sister for back. Now she the raise voice. The man who they drive, they do back up. You need to hear her voice. She carry head go up. You know, even this, you get eye. No eye, no leg. Now the man driving is the eye, is the leg. And that one cannot walk. Obi Matolojo, I didn't know when I pulled out for pocket. That small five night I was trying to save. Should in case money food I can start from there. I went to drop because they have basket by the side of the uh, I threw it. They didn't even know when I threw it because they were busy praising God. And when I sat down. I was hearing my spirit as he said, Kissily, you are complaining. Choose between these people and your condition. I said, No, God, thank you. I was complaining, no market, no money. This one, I don't get house. These ones, are they looking for market? Tell your neighbor, be thankful. My leader knows that way. My leader knows that way. Now listen, this is the six months of the year. You know how many that have gone? Do, they, do you think by their choice they wanted to go? He said, I will show mercy to whom he pleases me. My dear, if you are alive, please thank him. You didn't pay for it. A young boy during Christmas was outside arguing with the father. Said, "You must buy me shoe. You must buy me shoe. Daddy must buy my mates. Don't buy shoe. You know, children for Christmas cloth." And he and the father was outside arguing the thing, and he saw a small boy. The, the whatever that happened, two of the legs from the knee they cut it. A small boy, not up to, up to twenty-two, and this boy also a teenager. So they were moving him on wheelchair. And they was begging. Passed through their entrance. When they saw the man and they saw, they came and was begging. 
The man asked the boy, said, what happened to you? He said, it's accident. He said, him himself and the parents, they were on a journey. That the parents, they died. The only way, he, he was the only one who survived. And the two legs were off. Even, I think one of the hands was also affected. He said, but I'm, I'm happy, I'm alive. And the boy, the father was giving him either a thousand naira. He said, just use it, buy something. My beginning, I don't have money for shoe. I'll buy you next year. That one thousand, he said, he will not collect. The boy told the father, say, give him. Give him. He said, I don't want to shoe now. My daddy, when you have money, buy me shoe. Give him. Nadia, oh. Ima magi gadigide. Rombe piye. Ebele gigadigide. Mano toto nabale. Kotwa kongadi. We rombe tiro ginile. Gabo isiala. Why am I saying this? This is the sixth month. I tell the devil want to tell you what you don't have. He wants to tell you things you don't have. He wants to tell you things that have never taken place. Look at you. You have girls, no boy. Look at you. Your mates have married. You never marry. Look at you. Your mates are building. Look at your house abandoned. Yes, that is true. But first of all, the key to what you are looking for is gratitude. A young man climbed up on top of a three-story building. To commit suicide. And a young man was downstairs like this, looking at him. He said, Bros, I know what you want to do. My mind have told me. And that one was up, standing at the edge to jump down. And the young man the other side said, Please, oh, Bros, no, come down here to. I see you there. You are wearing shoe. You are wearing watch. You are wearing belt. He's sure he always said, Now rope, now tie. So slippers. Now the one I pick for those feet, but you wear shoe. And you wear watch. I never prize watch for my life. Please. Can I, can I come and collect this one? When you have gone, I'll be praying for you. The man didn't answer him. The young man rushed up and said, okay, please give me this three things. Don't fall with it because if you fall now, I can't collect them again. This watch, your belt, and your shoe. So even if you do what you want to do, somebody will be praying for you from here. That's it. There are things you have, you call common thing, but it's a miracle in another person's hand. Subaraya mama, subaraya mama, si ya no me la ezele, si ya no me la o, ese chisos, subaraya mama, si ya no me la. That thing you can't come on to, even that cloth you wear this morning, say no fine, go give somebody like enough Christmas cloth, you got to dance. Have you gone to village that time? That's some people, something you didn't call anything, they are dancing. They are thanking you as if. Talk to me. That's why you need to be thankful. Even when you come back to village that time, you say things are too hard. So go tell him, say like this. He'd be like, who come from America? Because then they say, don't even think of coming to township. Life abandoned them over there. You need to be thankful. Jesus said, Lord, thank you because you hear me. Hear me. Gratitude is a key to total deliverance. If you are someone who is an ingrate, for you to get something, it becomes difficult. He said, See how far you brought me. He said, I'm so glad you found the body. I can see, I can tell, and I know. Is your grace on my days? I will sing your praise. Yes, I will see your fire brought me. Yes, I will I'm so glad you find the word. I can see, I can tell. And I know is your grace on my days. I will sing your praise. You need to be thankful. You have seen the half of the year. 
Forget what you are looking for. He's only who is alive that can achieve something. A dead man cannot say, give me house. A dead man cannot say, I want to marry. A dead man cannot tell you, say, I want children. He's only the living that can make requests. Thank him. There are many things you went through that could have taken your life. But Macy said no. Yes, I'm so glad you found me all. I can, I can see, see. I, can I can tell. And I know it's your grace on my days. I will sing your praise. Yes, see how far you brought me. Yes, I'm so glad you find me worthy. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace on my days. I will sing your praise. Hear this if I go to the next point. Have you ever looked at those long things that carry human beings? No window, no door. Is it not somebody like me and you? What sin do they commit? Some of them, we are not even sick. But you only have been sick for long, but yet you didn't die. Some said, didn't have a headache. But they slept, they didn't wake up. Mercy. But we say it's of the lost mercy that we are not consumed. I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace all my days. I will see your grace. If I look at my left, I look at my right. If I look at my front door, I look at my back. If I am honest, I will see. There is it to praise the Lord. If I am honest, I will see. There is it to praise the Lord. If I am honest, I will see. There is it to praise the Lord. If I am honest, I will see. There is it to praise the Lord. Joy in my heart. 
Let me hear you say it. Like I will praise the Lord. Oh, we can give him up. There is joy in my heart. He's flowing like a river. I will praise the Lord. We can give him up. Oh, my father, my everlasting king, I will sing and pray with dancing of joy. There is joy in my heart, it's flowing like a river. I will pray the Lord with dancing of joy. I will pray. Wave those hands, shout hallelujah. <laughs> Sit down. Jesus say, Lord, thank you. Please, in this sixth month, if you want all you are looking for, give him thanks. Not sometimes, always. A woman sang a song, he said, I sing, I don't want to run away. As if my body is full of mouth is not enough. Are you there? That's point one. Number two, speak to your situation in loud voice with faith. No matter what comes your way, be bold. Speak loud. Don't allow your situation to close your mouth. Do you know the attitude of people around there, there when Jesus came? Some we are mocking, some we are like, now you are coming. But it's after thanking God, he declared, Lazarus, comfort. And the Bible says, he that was dead came forth. So point two, point two, always speak to your situation in a loud voice with faith. If you speak loud voice without faith, nothing happens. Number three, always command the enemies to carry their load. Isaiah 54 verse 17. He said, no weapon fashion against you shall ever. But the last part of it, he said, every tongue that rises up against you in judgment. What he said? And every tongue that rises up against thee in judgment. Thou, that thou stand as you shall condemn. So if you don't condemn me, heaven cannot condemn me. Did you hear what I said? Be bold to condemn. When we pray, pray. Scatter their cup in their kingdom. As we are saying it, you believe that nothing is happening, but it's destroying a lot of things. Believe it. This is the sixth day of this meeting. And whatever that is left unturned in your life, as you turn that amen, I see God come perfecting your deliverance. Always command. You are the one representing God. There are some things God cannot do until you speak. God can do it again and again and again. He's the same God today and he always has been yesterday and forever. He's always the same. There's no reason to doubt. God can do it again. And the last one, number four. Or second to the last. You must be a friend of Jesus. But that point three said, Jesus said, why I declare point three? Let me say something before I come to this point four. He said, lose him and let him go. Why? They were the one who tied him. Now there are some parts of your prayer if you don't command them, nothing changes. So you must be bold to speak. Whoever that have hand over my life, carry your load. 
Whatever they get against me, I spoil it. Because on a mouth, they take talk and say, it will hold you. So when you said it cannot work, you terminate it. But that number four is that you must be a friend of Jesus. What brought Jesus to the tomb of Lazarus? He was his friend. Chapter 11, verse 11. He said, Lazarus, our friend, is there. He's the same God today and he always has been yesterday and forever. He's always the same. There's no reason to doubt God can do with again. Because if you are a friend of Jesus, they can't frustrate you. It can be delayed, but they can't deny you. What does it take? Serving God in truth and spirit. A genuine worshiper. No matter what happens, you don't, you don't run left, you don't run right. You believe God can never be late. You know, matter believe say, Jesus, you came late. And even now, you would have looked for help somewhere. But tell your neighbor, the master cannot be late. Very, very important. You must serve God in truth and spirit. Whatever God cannot give you, don't need it. Did you hear what I said? Whatever God cannot give you, my dear, you don't need it. They tell you, say, he's there. He's there. If God, because only the blessing of the Lord make it rich. And there's no sorrow attached to it. You want marry? Marry well. So, what it takes is to be a friend of Jesus. And how do you be a friend of Jesus? When you serve Jesus, there are natures... Of the, the old life of man will go out of you. The way you talk, the way you speak, the way you do things. Even your appearance. You can't tell me you are a child of God, you are a prayer warrior, and you wear blouse, come church. You cannot tell me, young boy, you are a born again child of God, and you love God, and they still smoke Morocco, you are a courtist. It's not possible. You can't serve two masters at the same time. You cannot say you are a child of God and you are still bowing down to idol. You have juju, you are a, an occultic man or woman. Serving God requires total surrender. On to thee, my blessed Savior, I surrender, I surrender all. Surrender it all. I surrender all. I surrender. I surrender all. Unto thee, my blessed Savior. I surrender. I surrender all. Surrender in everything. That's what it is. Even though you bow down to the devil and you come to God, you cannot keep the truth. Declare your stand. now look at another thing I want to say. If you are a child of God, you must have spirit of forgiveness. Unforgiveness is not of God. And it can stand against you in a meeting like this. It's important I say this. Mark chapter 11 verse 25. Media, give it to me for conclusion. Mark 11, 25 and 26. Mark 11, 25 and 26. And when you start praying, what did he say? Forgive if you have ought against any. That your father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespass. Verse 26, what did he say? But if you do not forgive, neither will your father which is in heaven forgive your trespass. One day I was praying for a program like this and the Lord told me that what has hindered many people in the church is unforgiveness. 
I repeat, God told me, what has hindered people's deliverance, miracle and testimony is what? Unforgiveness. At times, some mama, they find it difficult to forgive their husband. Some husband find it difficult to forgive their wife. I was talking to a man one day. I said, how often do you give your wife money? He said, for some time, I don't give her because she knows they respect me. I asked him, I said, do you have children? He said, yes, how many? How about four or five children? How do you take care of them? He said, when I come back in the night, I give them money to buy something. I said, you're wicked. Okay, you give them money to buy indomie, right? He said, yes. And you believe you have fed them well? He said, yes. Quite shock or catch them. Now you cause them. Why? Because... He don't want to forgive the wife. And let me tell you, if you are a real man, no matter how angry you are, you cannot punish your children for the sin of their mother. Hey, he said, if I bring money, the mama will be eating from inside. So, don't worry now, the children will grow. The day you see, make them angry. Yeah, they will pay you back. Somebody shout, Unforgiveness. And finally, brethren, let me say this. One that was praying, God told me, did you know there are many people in this church? They, are, they call themselves married men and women with children, but the man never pays shishi. Credit marriage. He married a woman for credit. And he don't bomb finish. He will ask him why he didn't pay that. He said, I don't get money. But to get money to bail the children from the hospital. You get money to to take care of those children when they are sick, but you don't have money to pay the woman daddy. Oh God, you are wicked. You are waiting for the mother-in-law die now, father-in-law, before you pay daddy. Okay, but I have seen so many other times when the father-in-law don't die, now they say because of baby, you go look for money. Why you didn't look for money when the man was alive? The answer is, oh God, you are wicked. And think, I'm, if your own children do you like that, wait till you die. You know, Bible says, whatever a man soweth. Because it's a seed you have sowed. You waited for your father-in-law, mother-in-law to die. Okay, you came to pay daddy. Who you want to pay daddy is already gone. Who are you paying to? Repent. One say, now nah, the papa said, we just go to stay. And he may go to stay now. Credit, they know they pay him. And when he said, he said, when I go to stay, now I call, I call him, I said, your father-in-law said, you people, he said, he said it. He said, that's okay. Tell me true. No be better, you give this woman. Now he keep quiet. And he may we open the old chapter now. And I said, because most of the tradition, they will tell you, say, they don't pay the area of a woman when she's pregnant. Am I correct? They say, when I go to stay. Now, that pregnancy, no born am till now. He, he they look me. He said, no, I don't think I'm like that. I said, you think, I think me, I think I'm like that. You, because you purposely go give Bambele, so I become a Zaba married. And young girls, I warn you, all these are Koko love. The man just caught, I look you like this. He don't fall in love. Conversion, not they catch you. Enough. He surprises someday here and now they get specky for the man who never pay your dad. Who never even see your family. You get specky yesterday and I saw you they cook. One day hot water go pour you for leg. Who know where you go? Shower rise. When we walk with the Lord in the light of His word, what a glory He shed on our way. Why we do His good will, He abides with us still, and we all will trust and obey. Let's sing it right now. Trust and obey. There's no other way to be happy in Jesus 
but to trust and obey. Listen, a young girl came for counseling here from one of the places. A believer in a Bible believing church. She's overdue for marriage, and the man came to marry her. And the man was serious. The man was ready to pay daddy, do everything. He went to see the father. The father said, he should wait. He should wait. He should not talk. At the time, the father said, don't talk about this matter again. Wait. Till when? Am I getting young? So she came to me and said, Pastor, I don't understand my father. He's a good father before, but since I talk about this marriage, he's started to change. And he warned me I should never talk about anything of this marriage thing until the day he asked. And the young man is getting tired. He said, why this delay? So I said, go ask your papa, ask your mama. Threaten them. You are, you are big enough. Are you the first daughter? I say yes. Threaten them. That if, you, if they don't, you run, follow the boy and you will not come back again. Threaten them. And he's the one taking care of the house. When he now wake papa up midnight, we pray also and ask the father. The father say, ask your mama. Mama say, no, you did their talk now. <laughs> when she came back and told me what was the problem, the papa never paid mama daddy. So they are still planning now. They won't get grandchildren. He said, Papa said, the simple thing is that if you want your marriage to go, help us if you go fishing where to get money. Maybe we might do your mama home. The girl was disappointed. He said, Mommy, are this your age? Two of you hide this thing. We don't know. He asked me, what do I do? I say, find money, give your papa. That's all, that's all. No be prayer now. Look for money. Give and do follow up. May you go pay your mama daddy. He said, but I'm ashamed. How will I tell people, say, my papa and mama, they want to go pay daddy. I don't know who I'm talking to. No wait for your children, husband to come before you want to go pay daddy. Let him that have here, make it here. You want to give your life to Jesus, wherever you are, lift up your right hand, I want to pray for you. you. You want to give your life to Jesus, that nothing will stand against you here on earth after here, that you will be a child of God, you will make heaven. Lift up your right hand, pray this simple prayer with me, say it after me, say, Father, Lord Jesus, have mercy upon me. Wash me and cleanse me. Give me the power to live above sin. I accept Jesus today. As my Lord and personal Savior, I repent from my heart. Give me the power to serve you all the days of my life. Cancel my name in the book of death. Write my name now in the book of life. Thank you, Father. I'm born again. I'm a child of God in Jesus' name. Everybody shout amen in this house. You pray that prayer is important. Go and make the correction and I tell you things begin to happen. Pray this prayer. Shout it. Father. Father. Now look at, look at the prayer I wanted to pray. Jesus said unto them. Now when Jesus called Lazarus. Lazarus come for Bible. Say, he that was dead came forth. But the hands we are tied. The legs we are tied. Listen everybody. Listen. Very, this is our key assignment today. Now he came forth. Hands and left. Leg bound. That verse 44. The Bible said the, the tied his hand. His face. His legs with grave clothes. Now, what was the complaint of Mary and Martha? If you were here, our brother wouldn't have died. Now, Jesus came and said, I'm the resurrection and the life. And shouted, Lazarus came forth. Bible says, he that was there, just one shout. He didn't repeat twice. He that was dead came out of the grave. But we are tired. Now, watch this. Death, which they thought that killed him, heard the voice of Jesus and withdrew. But what you know when a man die, listen. Is it outsider that dress him? Family members. That is in every culture. When a man die, his family members that dress him up. Two of us. Stranger can't enter there. So the family members tied, they tied his hand, tied his leg. Should in case if death go. Rope, no go loose. Now listen. Jesus shouted, Lazarus came forth. He that was there, dead, he heard the voice of Jesus disappear. But what family died was still intact. 
Because family battle is worse than death. Now this, that's why I hear this. When you are going through family battle, you pray, pray, things are not working. Understand, it's a stubborn situation. Jesus shouted, Lazarus, death disappeared. But what family tie didn't lose, did not lose at all. He came out jumping. Kai. So now, so this thing strong. Now, Kebo, they take tire. Everything loosed. Death disappeared. Life came back. But what family tied? Refused. Shout in my father. My father. If God is your father, call it from a, an aggressive voice. Whatever they tied me in the family, holding my destiny. Oh, yeah, pray that prayer. In Jesus' name. Number two part of it. Stubborn family problem. Inherited family problem. Your papa went through it. Your mama went through it. Your siblings. And the thing you hold you. Shall you father. Every inherited stubborn family problem. Every inherited stubborn family problem. Tormenting me there and I. Scatter by fire. Oh, yeah, pray, pray. Aha. Uh -huh. Let your voice be loud. You watching me there? Let your voice be loud. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, remember, go back to that verse 44. Media give us. Look at the last part. It's important you pray this prayer. Verse 44, John 11:44. 44. Media give it to us. The last part of it. And his face was bound with a napkin. Jesus said unto them, Lose him. The, Jesus didn't say break. He said, Lose him. He said to them that tied it, Lose. Now you tie, carry your load. Shout it, Father. Father. If God is your Father, shout it loud and clear. Father. Every evil family load given to me to carry. Whoever that gave it to me from one family, as I begin to pray, carry your Lord in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, command them. Whoever that gave me to carry, wherever you are, dead or alive, carry your Lord, carry your Lord, carry your Lord, carry your Lord. Aha. Uh -huh. Bad luck. Setback. Delay. Whoever that gave me to carry. In that family. Outside that family. Carry your load. Carry your load. Carry. Yamana. Somebody declare it. Whoever in that family. Where are you married? I give you this load to return it. Carry your load. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your two hands. Where, whatever they are using to keep you in one spot. Whoever responsible for this evil. As you turn that amen three times in the name of Jesus, let their evil break. I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I declare you free. Amen. I order them, let, let them let you go. Amen. Whoever they have hand in your life, release her, release him. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I bless you. In Jesus' name. Clap those hands and take your seat.